What's up guys? So today is Tuesday, June 15th, 2021. And I know you won't believe it, but I bought more auction items again this past weekend. And I wanted to share with you guys all the goodies that I got. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so check out the auction lots that I won this past weekend. I did buy quite a bit of jewelry. The uh, vintage jewelry sometimes is just hard to pass on because it's so much fun to go through. So let me kind of show you some of the lots that I bought. And this lot right here is a plush lot. Look at that huge, huge gorilla. Um, he is so big. So let me... Let me go over these items. There's some pixies as well, so give me just a minute. Alrighty guys, so this lot right here, this is a vintage bracelet lot. There's just a lot of fun bracelets in here for you guys to check out. Um, lots of bangle bracelets. Some of them are the same. That one's really pretty. There's like five of these. Um, just, just a fun little mixture of bracelets in here. I have a couple of these. These are really pretty. I don't I think these are plastic beads. I'm not, I'm not for sure. I haven't tested any of this stuff. And wooden bracelet. Some fun colored ones. There's some right here. This is really pretty. This is a really fun bracelet right here. Gorgeous, stretchy bracelet. bracelet right here. This one is really cool. This one is actually made from safety pins. Some really, really cool intricate details in there. Took someone a long time to do this. And then this one is a magnetic bracelet to do this one handed and it comes off just like this. Very cool bracelet right there. So there's the bracelet lot. Then over here I have kind of a travel lot. These little Hot pixies, these were um, hand painted Hong Kong vintage pixies right there. Came in this travel lot right here. I have a little wooden um, Route 66 lighter holder. A little Canada dish. And then we have some really neat vintage postcards right here. Just, they're in really great condition. Very well kept. Canada, look at that. Cafe. They're just really lovely um, cards. And there's, these are like, um, these look like photo postcards. They, they have glossiness to them. Really, really pretty there. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And these are all postcards. They feel like photos, so they're really cool. Let's see. They're actually postcards. But they're like pictures. Very nice right there. There's some more postcards. Calvin Klein, just a lot, just a huge, huge assortment of postcards here. These are upside down, but I think you get the point. And then a vintage Northwest Orient bag, very cool. New York pop-out map. And then this lot right here, this was just a small jewelry lot that I bought little Hannah Montana guitar necklace. I looked this up. This is a little um, Avon cross necklace. Really pretty. Some random assortment. Well, this is crosses that hang right there. Little grandma pin. Um, just some odds and ends. A neat little watch still has the tag on it comes with like a little um, lipstick purse or you could use it as a coin purse super cute there um this is a clay i think it's clay some kind of pottery beautiful heavy 
beaded necklace right here. And I don't know who this is. I think it says P. Fisher. I'm not sure. I couldn't figure that one out. And then we just have some odds and ends. These look like vintage cufflinks. Whoops, I have that the wrong way. I have two of those. And some really, really tiny pins there. Whoops. Some vintage earrings, an anchor. Um, this was from a place in New York, this necklace. Let's see if I can find the little thing on it. Right there. Is it Yoki or Yochi? It's a really pretty necklace. Um, this was on the end. I have a feeling, I don't think this goes to it. This little like angel fairy cameo locket. It opens up. I may sell those separately. And this is a really beautiful, it's actually an Avon necklace. Tur turquoise and silver like necklace. That's pretty. I might bring that to auction. And here is a little heart necklace. I don't know who the maker is on that. Um, and then here's another random necklace. I don't know if this is a homemade. It's got a lot of different types of things on it. So that was kind of a little fun lot right there. It's just a little tiny lot. And there's some ephemera, but I'm gonna save that. So this lot right here is a lot of fun. This has tons of neat stuff in it. I was looking at it. Check out this ring. Just a crazy ring right here. I don't even know what this ring would belong to. I have some vintage earrings. I tried to pair some of them up because this lot was kind of all dumped together. And these were earrings and a pendant that they put together. Really cool. And we have some really neat vintage pins right there. These are all backwards. Let me turn this around. I was looking through what I bought yesterday. So I have like lots of neat pins here. There's just an assortment. Um, looks like someone tried to do like little hammered stamped crosses. These are just little lightweight, probably crafting crosses or something. Um, there's some random like earrings that I'll probably have to just put in like a crafter's lot because there's they're not a pair. I have a few other crosses right there. And that's a, a charm right there. I have several flags that I put together. Some vintage stuff right there. So I may put together a pin lot with some of these. And then I have a couple of horseshoe pins. One has an elephant and then this one has a horse. Um, one random thing there. I have a few of these little flags, probably to make a bracelet. I have more pins. This is really cool. This is a huge pin. Look at that. That is cool. That one is really neat. That kind of attracted me to this lot right there is the uniqueness of some of this stuff. Look at this. These are earrings. Right now they're taped together so they don't get lost, but I thought that was super funny. Just the uniqueness of these is kind of fun. Um, I've got all kinds of neat pins. That pin right there. Just some really pretty vintage items in here. A little flower. Red hat earrings. A little blue hat pin. Still in the package. Check this out. This is a big pin right here. There's another one. Just, just lots of fun 
very unique stuff. Um, so here's some earrings, but I think the earrings have kind of lost their um, ability to close. I don't know how to fix that, but these earrings go with this pendant right here. Um, a few little regular pins. So just some fun stuff in this one. So it's like a, a, a bunch of pins and some earrings in this lot. Um, I bought two lots of these, so I'm not going to go over them, but in total, I think I have, I think about a hundred, a little over a hundred of these. And these are like little, um, I was trying to look up this company. They're magnets. I think you can put them on frames or like magnetic bracelets. Um, I'm not sure where to get the bracelets now, so I have to kind of figure that out, but I have some that are you know, like little random cute objects. And then I have some that are like letters, like you could spell out your name as well. So some of the stuff up here is fun. And then same thing with this lot, just little, little magnetic charms that you could put on things. So I have quite a bit of those. And here's my last jewelry lot right here. Um, some of these items in here would be more crafting. Um, I did stick some of the vintage rings in this box right here. I haven't finished going through this stuff, but a lot of these are just one-off items in this little box. Um, I have to sort through them. Here's an old hair thing. And then these are neat. So here's like a little enamel elephant. It lost some of its enamel, but it's really pretty. Vintage bracelet right there. Um, seahorse, looks like uh, kind of an interesting little flower. And then this right here is missing it's like missing some pearls or something. And then I actually have both of these cufflinks, but one of the cufflinks, the setting is out of it. Um, and this is cute. I wish it wasn't damaged, but it's got, this little duck has a damage to its tail. Little tiny purse. It's like a pin cushion purse or something. And a book. This is a seashell ring with a stretchy thing on it. It's kind of funny. And then just some very interesting pieces here that are, that's a pen. And then here we go right here. This necklace. And it looks like one of these, oh, there's an earring to it. I don't think there are both earrings to this though. I think it's just one earring. I haven't found the other one. So just some interesting random pieces in here. Oh, there's the other one. So I have the top that goes to it. I just don't know how to fix it. So I may end up just putting these in like a crafter's lot or something. And then this right here, this is the ephemera lot that I bought. I have, um, some old pictures of this ladies in here, just different things. And there's actually some newspaper clippings. I'm not gonna go through that, but I mean, these are just really lovely looking pictures here. This one is, I think it's 1928. If I can open it up, look how pretty. It's gonna make you wonder about people's lives and everything. It's just, so it's, yeah, 1928. And then I think this one is the same. So I was just gonna, oh, maybe I was gonna show you this one. Um, I didn't wanna like show too much. Oops, if I can get it open. 1928. I don't know what the year is on this one, but how adorable is that? Just really pretty, 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I always wonder about people's lives and everything, you know? Okay, and then the last lot is this big, giant stuffed animal lot. There's not a whole lot of animals in the box. Um, this monkey is huge. It's absolutely huge. So, as you can see, this box says 45 by 45. And this gorilla is huge. So, here's the panda. He just needs cleaned up a little bit. And he's big, but then, whoops, if I can keep my camera straight, okay. This monkey is ginormous. Okay, I just pulled him out. Look at him. He is like huge. The video does not even do him justice. He is just a really big stuffed animal. Um, I don't know if he has a tag. I actually have not even looked into this lot yet. I don't see a tag on him, but he is a one big gorilla. So, you know, I will definitely have to sell him as a one-off, probably on eBay or something. And then here's the other items that are in this lot. We have, couple of angel bears so here's one Ooh, my light's getting dark over here little angel bear there and then one another angel bear right there this one I don't know it just says made in China and look here is another angel bear this one I guess I'm guessing obviously Thai yep it's a Thai angel bear and we have a little inexpensive Easter rabbit with a baseball. And then a little Valentine's bear. This is Kisses. And then another little bear. And then a little bunny rabbit. And then what is this? Ooh, that is interesting. Wonderful kids girl. Wonderful kids girl. I don't think I've seen this one before. It's got a little clip on it. And a little old baby doll. Oh, here's another one. What does this say? Wonderful kids boy. All right, so these two go together. Wonderful kids. Alrighty, then, hmm, who is that? I don't know who that is. Let me see. I am not sure. I don't know who this is, but her head is spinning around. Okay, there's one right there little baby doll. I feel like my daughter had some little baby dolls like these. It's probably just little off-brand baby dolls right there. Little, that one's kind of dirty. Oh, is this a hand puppet? Yeah, this is a hand puppet Easter bunny. And then birthday babies. This is a birthday babies November baby. Her name is Noreen. It's your little birthday baby. And another little bear. This one looks like a little sleepy bear that's supposed to make noise. To test all these out. Um, is that a, is that Barbie? I can't tell. I don't know if that's an off brand or Barbie's little sister, I'm not sure. Um, oh, and here's another one of these books another one of these dolls. So there's two of those. And then a little jacket. That looks pretty old. Oh, gory. My, my grandchildren would love this if it works. 
chance of finding Nemo Dory. I wonder if that's a bathtub toy. And then just a random something that goes with a Barbie or a doll. All right. So there is my collection of stuff again for this week. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed all of these lovely auction items that I showed you today. Um, it's it's always a lot of fun to buy, isn't it? Um, you can never have too much, too many items to choose from. So, um, as always, stay tuned on Rachel Reinventing Rachel, her channel on Thursday nights, auction around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we hope to see you there. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.